try to completely change the homeowner experience with the battery. The ability to know exactly what's going on, all the automatic load shedding, to really manage that battery and get the most out of that system. Span opens that up. Is there going to be any kind of lead time as far as in, until installers are going to be able to actually offer this to homeowners, or how do you see this kind of rolling out? So a lot of people talk about, can I make my car run on sunshine? And the answer is you, you pretty much can with the Span today. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And this afternoon we're coming to you from SolarCon here in Salt Lake City. And this afternoon we're catching up with Mark Abrams again from SPAN. And we're going to be talking about the latest news from SPAN, including the announcement I just saw a few days ago that you have now completed the first integration with the Enphase IQ storage system. So Mark, yep. uh, really good to see you again, great first of you, all. Great to see you, Joe, thanks. And uh, really excited to hear. So what's, what's new at SPAN? Well, great to be talking to you again, Joe. Thanks again for having me on. Um, things are great, going great at SPAN, and we, as you mentioned, we're super excited this week, both to be here at SolarCon, of course, but also to announce the availability of the Enphase solution with SPAN. And as you know, Enphase is a great product and, and doing very well in the market. And so as, as we've grown SPAN, we want to be compatible and interoperable with more and more batteries. So we're very excited to release this solution. And the way we thought about it was we wanted the homeowner, the consumer, to have the exact same SPAN experience, no matter if it was a Tesla battery, a SolarEdge battery, or an Enphase battery. And that was our philosophy when we came out with this solution. And so the good news is now, for all your Enphase customers, you can offer them SPAN, the full SPAN experience with the IQ battery product. And so that for us is a big deal. We're very excited. Our, my Enphase colleagues tell me they're excited as well. Um, and, and so many of our customers and partners that have been offering Enphase are really glad to bring these two solutions together. Yeah, because you know we, we get these inquiries all the time. And in fact, if I, if I had to pick two brands, maybe three brands that are, that are specifically asked for by name, it's Enphase on the microinverter or on the inverter side. It's REC in terms of solar panels, and it's the span panel. I want the span panel because in terms of like the, the visibility, the insights, and the, and the circuit level control, nothing else that's out there really does it the way that, that span does it. Yeah, no, thanks. Thank you, appreciate that, Joe. We, you know, we really try to completely change the homeowner experience with the battery. The ability to know exactly what's going on, all the automatic load shedding, to really manage that battery and get the most out of that system. Span opens that up. And now to be able to add the, the great Enphase solution products is, is you know, really good for all those Enphase customers and to be able to add that to their, their solution. That's great. Well, we're excited. And uh, so tell us, I mean, in terms of um, adoption from the installers, I understand it was just announced. So there, there, is there going to be any kind of lead time as far as in, until installers are going to be able to actually offer this to homeowners? Or how do you see this kind of rolling out? Sure, great question. Let me tell you a little about the product. Uh, so the product specifically to work with Enphase, we came out with something called the Remote Meter Kit. It's a small remote meter that essentially manages or, or measures the state of the grid, the state of energy of the battery, and, and the solar production, and then brings all that information back into SPAN. So in order to add SPAN to an Enphase IQ battery system, you do need this remote meter kit. These are now shipping. That was our declaration. We're generally available. The software is available. The hardware is available. We took an off-the-shelf meter. We didn't reinvent the meter, so it's a product that's been around for many years. But we wrote the software to enable this particular application. So you can buy these at your local distributors. We're, you know, we're well covered by the familiar names. Um, and they've been shipping uh, for a few weeks now into their stock and will continue to do so. So the lead time should be pretty short if you're looking into an Enphase system. Uh, the software is available on our portal. And so from the installer perspective, it is very easy now to go connect us with an Enphase system. All of the uh, documentation, installation videos, all that's on our tech portal as well. So if you're ready to install Span with Enphase, we're ready to support you. That's great, yeah, so for you installers out there, it sounds like if you're already on the SPAN tech, technical uh, portal, you should be able to access the training documents and everything that you need to kind of get, get familiarized with the new thing. So, so it's really just one piece of equipment then, the remote meter? Correct, you do need to run some cabling. There's what we call non-intrusive voltage taps. When we plug into the breakers, this gives us the information about the state of grid and, and the charging. Um, so it, you chose it on there, but the, this is included. You'll need your kind of typical balance of system. You'll need some conduit, some wire, but everything else is included in this kit that you'll need. So it's a very straightforward solution, easy to connect. Okay, so they'll get the remote meter from SPAN, uh, and then if they're doing an Enphase system, so they, they would still use the Enphase IQ system controller yes. to do the switching? All the Enphase equipment stays the same. 
The only thing you would no longer need with Span, of course, is, the, is any kind of alternative load control solution. Got it. So, you know, there's a lot of people doing it different ways out there. Now, of course, with Span, you would do all that in Span, but everything else about the Enphase system stays the same. Same battery, same controller, all that stays the same. That's great. Yeah, so you know, I know for folks that have that have been doing a lot of research in this space, and you know, a lot of our clients at Solar Surge, they really like to be able to take best of breed components from each area. So, for example, let's say I want to use load control and monitoring from Span, but I like, let's say, I like the micro inverters from Enphase. Maybe I like, a, you know, the Enphase battery, or maybe even a different battery in the future. I don't know, but I know that a lot of our audience likes to be able to to pull in best of breed components yeah. to put together the total solution that they're looking for. Yeah. So, so that that's exciting. Yeah, we're super excited about yeah. that as well. So has anything changed with the SPAN panel itself since you and I spoke last year? Yeah, no, I mean, no particular big news yet on the software. We're going to be doing some interesting things more this summer. Um, we've been ramping up our EV charger sales, so that's been going well. You know, the ability to avoid service upgrades is very compelling, or people already buying SPAN like to add this EV charger because it looks clean, it looks good in the app. Uh, so we've been doing real well with that. Um, and I think, but the big focus for us at the beginning of this year was to get Enphase solution completed, make sure everything's working really well and get it, get it, get it launched. So that's a big excitement and uh, we're, you know, a, lot of, a lot of action this week. We were super glad to get it out the door. That's we great. Also, I want to mention, Joe, we were really excited because we got it out on time. We, you know, a lot of our customers, we had been waiting for an Enphase solution. When we decided to do the meter commit, we committed to this early April date. We hit our date. We felt really good about that. So, you know, for all of you who've been waiting, now is the time. Excellent, excellent. Well, I know I'm going to get the question, so I may as well ask you while I'm here. Um, what about some of the other batteries? I mean, I, I walk around the conference and some of the other conferences, we're, we're seeing all, new batteries come up. Uh, we just did an announcement on Solar Surge uh, about a week ago about the new Canadian solar battery system. Um, and there's just, there's just more people that are getting into the battery game. Um, for those that are going to be wondering, well, is Span going to work with all of these products, or, or, or is there a roadmap? What, what can we share with them? It's a great question, Joe, and, and I, I'll tell you, as a longtime solar industry person, I, I'm thrilled to see more and more batteries coming in, just because our industry needs more choices. You know, we have great products today, but it, it's a sign of a healthy industry when a lot of companies are, are offering new products into it. And with California needing so many batteries now with M3, you know, we need more supply of batteries as well, whether it's from our existing suppliers or new ones doing innovation. Our philosophy is we'd like to be interoperable with all of them, but it does take some development work. So this remote meter kit may help open that up and accelerate for more and more batteries over time, particularly the AC coupled style. Um, because we started with Enphase, but there's absolutely the potential to add additional batteries down the road. Um, so more news to come on that, hopefully in the next few months. Uh, but we definitely want to continue to add batteries. We are focused on our next battery. And, and as soon as we got news, I'll look forward to talking with you about that with the viewers. Great, Mark. Well, you know, that's why we're here again, guys, is, you know, we're trying to get the most up-to-date product and industry news uh, into your hands so you can make the best decisions as far as, you know, whether you're a homeowner or you're an installer, which products you want to install or which products you want maybe to have in your home. Um, if we could talk a little bit, because you did mention the span, the span drive, right? The EV charger? You bet. So can you tell us, first of all, how, how does your EV charger work with the panel? Because I don't think you and I have actually really gotten into that. That's right, it was brand new, I think, when we yeah, last talked about it. Yeah, it was brand about. new, and I think maybe we were outside, the microphones may not have been working or something. So, <laughs> right. so let, let's hear more about the span drive. And then also, I'd like to get your take on this, this new, like, bi-directional vehicle to grid, vehicle sure. to home, this whole thing that's going on now. You bet, great questions. I'd love to talk about them, thank yeah. you. So we, we work with any EV charger. You can plug any EV charger on a breaker into span, and we can even do avoid service upgrades with any EV charger okay. by knowing which circuit is. Uh, because we're an energy management system, you all certify it. So we're, we love all EV chargers. It's all good for electrification, very much in our philosophy. Okay. We believe, though, that we're able to invent uh, some additional features by integrating the two. So first, we want to start with a really good EV charger. So this is, a, this is a 48 amp level two plus capable charger, 60 amps on the breaker. Uh, so it's a basically a fast charger, fast as pretty much anything out there. Um, and it's also just really nice and clean. It looks good. Uh, this model doesn't show up, but when you disconnect it, it actually lights up, which people find really handy. You're in your garage, you get home at night, it's, it's outside. So there's some little features around it that are just kind of nice to have. When you put it together with our software now, You've got uh, extra level of visibility and control inside the SPAN uh, app as a whole. 
So specifically, for example, when you go and you'll see your exact car, we have little silhouettes for every particular car that shows up in the Span app. And I know okay. this stuff sounds kind of fun, but people get really excited. Oh yeah, that's my Model 3 or that's my Mustang. So we did some things like that to just kind of go in line with the Span app, that, that, that great look and feel. Then you can do more. What we did just release is a scheduler. So a lot of people talk about, can I make my car run on Sunshine? And the answer is you, you pretty much can with the Span today in the spirit of you can have it only charged during the hours that, that the battery, I mean, that the sun is shining. So you can schedule to do that. Or maybe you have time of use and you only want to charge your car, say, in the middle of the night. You can schedule that. You can do it manually and automatically. We even look up time of use rates in certain states and make it easy for the homeowner to ensure they're getting the lowest cost charging for their car. So when you get under the hood through the combination of software, we're able to add some extra features that are really handy all from the Span app that people are already comfortable looking at. We'll show percent of charge, estimated range. It's a lot of really nice features uh, that come through the integration of, of our charger with the panel. So again, we there's, there's all kinds of EV chargers. We work with them all, but we really like the things we can do above and beyond through this integration. And when we think about the future, the ability to control those loads is particularly valuable. And so you're gonna see more things come out around controlling the EV charging, when it's charging, how much it's charging, to enhance the experience for the homeowner and optimize the cost for them as well. That's great, that's great. And you asked about vehicle to grid or home. Yes. Yeah. Super interesting area. I'm so excited for it, just as a pure kind of elect, you know, electrification guy. Yeah. Um, it's early days. So we're, you know, the first thing I mentioned, the span panel by definition is, it, it, we call it kind of bi-directional, power in, power out. So the idea of having a car being able to power the house and being compatible with span is right in line with our vision. And the span panel, we believe, is going to be very well suited for that. Of course, there aren't many products, car, cars in particular are offering this, let alone right, bi-directional yeah. chargers. This charger will not be, but you can imagine the future, just like with batteries, we might partner with a Ford or any other company to allow their bi-directional equipment to work with ours. And, you know, we're very excited, but it's still pretty early days. The standards are still being written. You know, there aren't that many products out yet. So we're, we're, we're watching it. We're looking for great ways to solve for that. We think we'll make a great piece of that ecosystem. I think there's gonna be a lot of players in that space. And so look forward to that market starting to light up over the next few years. Yeah, very exciting. I know that's one of the topics that gets the most interest and the most interaction with the audience is this bi-directional EV. But Mark's right, guys. This, this is as exciting as it is, because me also, as just a tech guy, like I'm really, really excited about this idea of the home system, the car, the battery, everything kind of working together as part of one integrated energy system. But, I mean, even like with Enphase, their, their new EV charger, we're thinking maybe first quarter next year might be available for sale. You know, we don't know. But again, that's why we're here, guys. Make sure that you stay up to date with what's going on. And as soon as we have, you know, official announcements to make, we'll make sure that we share that with you. But um, I, I think that that is one thing that I'm seeing, though, Mark, is, is convergence. I'm seeing now the vehicle, the home electrical distribution system, the monitoring, the solar, the battery, the generator, all of that kind of tying into one system. They're not, these, these are no longer siloed products. These are, you know, individual components of a whole home energy yep. um, system. And, and I think one of the feedback that I get a lot is that I really like SPAN for my sort of user level visibility into how that system's working, you know, as the place that ties all that stuff together. You know, as we look ahead towards more and more electrification, the electrical panel becomes more and more part important. That was the vision of SPAN from the beginning, and we do consider ourselves what will ultimately be an incredibly important piece of that system, and perhaps the hub of it, because in the end, all of that power flows through your electrical panel in your house. So, a lot of exciting things to come down the road, both for all of us in the world of electrification and building out these systems to do more and more, and for SPAN is a, is a key element in that process. Excellent. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Again, this is Mark Abrams, Vice President at SPAN uh, Smart Panel. And uh, as you know, one of the products that we've been covering, one of the, the companies that we've been covering. Um, hey, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that we're publishing here, uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we've got new videos from the conference and other announcements, it'll come up and you can stay up to date with us. All right. Well, Mark, anything else the audience should know about no, Span? No, you know, keep looking for Span. Always exciting news. Check out our influencers. A lot of fun stuff out there. And Joe, thank you so much for having me on today. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, sir. All well, right. folks, that does it. We'll see you on the next video.